Morning guys, if you don't know, I'm a UK reseller of coins, banknotes, jewellery, collectibles, that sort of thing. If you're a returning viewer, thank you. If you're a new viewer, I do hope you like this content and please subscribe. Anyway guys, I'm going back to auction today, so I'm a little bit late to be fair. I'm setting off at quarter past ten and it opens up at half past eight for looking round, so I could have been there a little bit earlier, but you know, um, I'm going to get there this morning, I'm going to have a look around. There's not too much that... I'm interested in, but you can always find some. Of it. Sometimes you can have a look in a box, and some might pick up. So I'm gonna have a little look. We're gonna get some footage there. Also, it is Friday. The day has come. I'm at 129 subscribers now. So thank you for everybody that has subscribed. So stay tuned till end of video. I'm gonna tell you how to enter the contest. It's easy, no hard, no forms, no checking out like that, I'll just tell you how to enter, I'll show you what we've got if you've not already seen, because I did do a video the other day, but I'll show you what I'm going to be giving away, there's going to be two winners, so stay tuned to end, but I'm going to go to auction house now, we'll get some footage, we'll have a look about, and we'll see what we can get. Just got there now guys, I'm going to have a look around, see if we can get some bargains, we'll see you inside. A nice selection in this cabinet. This is my type of stuff. I like boxes of coins, bits of jewellery, collectible items. You know me, guys. But yeah, um, grade on these, like them crowns. The crowns are getting harder and harder to get. And um, the grade of them isn't that good. Very fine, fine. They're about a £50 coin. So we auction fees a little bit hard. But they're always worth looking out for because they are getting rarer. But yeah, look at the stock in here today, guys. Absolutely jam-packed. Loads of good stuff. Loads of different bits. Depends what you're into. Like I say, if we're all the same, what a boring world. But in that room, that's where the collectible stuff is. So stay tuned because next week there is an auction that I am going to, which is full of toys and that. But we're getting an extra peek in there, like a double dose today, guys. So stay tuned. I had a peek last week. The owner took me and my brother in and let us have a look around. But I'm going to show you what's in there today. Good little auction. I wish I had more bloody cash. PlayStation. Only thing is with electrical guys is... I might as well buy it from CEX, and I know it's working, if that makes sense. I always want to buy one to play it, but I don't I want to spend 30 right. quid and take it home and it not work. Yeah, not bad, mate. But maybe one day I'll place a bid. Paperweights. But look at these. He showed me these. We were talking and I had to cut away, but them cans are from 1980 with old ring tops. Some old beer and some 7-Up. I wonder what they're going to go for. Stamps, not many in there, mainly first day covers. If I can get them for under a tenner, I'll be alright for whipping out and stuff. Yeah. As you can see, it's absolutely ram packed, guys. Star Wars books. A bit of everything to somebody, but there's not too much in here for me today, guys. But I'm not shopping for me, I'm shopping for what sells. But you don't know everything. And yeah, look, one hand, trying to get this book in. Come on. I just gave up in end. Yeah. Usual suspects. What are them? That's why it's always good to look, guys, and check and open every single book. Because you might place a bid and you've just got empty folders or empty albums. No good to no one, unless you want to start your own collection. Loads of stuff in here, guys. Absolutely packed. 
Good, Harry. <laughs> These can do well, and they went cheap last week. Well. Bit on them. Watching Gus Sky Eye this week take off like a rocket. Last week I was sat at market, I didn't even put out, I thought, oh, I'll put a £10 reserve on them because they were like 15, 20 boxes. They were going for six quid, eight quid. I didn't put out on them. Shh. Did one box this week. Let's see what that does. Reserve placed on these. These are really what I'm banking on this week, guys. But yeah, if you do like this content, guys, remember to smash that like button and stay tuned. And I'm going to tell you how to enter the contest at the end of this video. A bit of everything in here though, guys. Like this back room, it's always a little bit of whatever. Like, I want some pants, look. I want some of them. But yeah, um, there's not as much exciting stuff today, but I've seen some coins, like obviously you've seen the video anyway, but I've seen some coins. There's a few stamps in there. There's a few bits. But I did forget to say, that there's um, the toy auction next week and he's opened that room up for viewing so that's going to be on Wednesday so in a couple of minutes after we've had a quick scout around this room we're going to go through and have a look mirror tell that bloody butterfly off though Cosmetics, you can do well on these. My pal, he always gets them. And... But they're always all right. If you can pick them up at right price, there might be something in here that you want to use yourself. T2. I don't know if any of them are Some of them might have been used. Mm. Smells nice. Do you know them, like, cheap ones that smell right nice and fresh? Like, it's got a shower. It's one of them. Be there, die.
and more cosmetics there. Xbox games. Fucking fed up as in FIFA though. Xbox will go through well. Bone bargains. I, I used to work there, man. Yeah. I'm in as well. Try these out on market. So look all right. Only at right price though. Be a million dollars in there. Some more pine cones. Some massive ones over there. My little and I'd love that chair. She always likes sitting in a certain spot. I'd get her that chair, she'd love her own little chair. Just right size. I'm having that red chair. Don't put a bid on that red chair. I like that. I, I yeah. remember. <laughs> that blue nice one's nice as well. as well. And it were comfy. I'll try and get that one. Hey, that's mine, that. You know what I mean? That one. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> and this is the other side guys which we will be bidding on next week little collectibles This is Wednesday and Thursday next week, isn't it? Two day, isn't it? <coughs> yeah, this is going to be two day next week. How do you know? Give me some good stuff. Yeah, I think it starts here. But there is not a lot of... It's not in order, Yeah, it's not. It's never a thing to order. You've got to sort of look where it jumps Yeah, because that's what I'm trying to look at them. Because when I get the sheets, I'm like, oh, yeah, just in a row. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it would have gone as he gone in a room, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's around the feet and more. He's sat in that little red car. Did that red chair? No, I like it. Oh, it's, it's nice. And that blue one's comfy, you know? Is, uh, I don't want to get into that. Yeah. When's the sale for all this lot then, Dave? June, uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday and Thursday. Oh. We need to get saving some money, nah, don't we? Nah, <laughs> nah. Hey, you come in. See what you can get. I can pop in right? yeah. Why not? You know what I mean? Oh, I love a piece of walk, though. 
Yeah, it's yeah. I don't ever see what everyone likes about it, me. I know that that's just my yeah. opinion, like, but I don't... I don't think I'm not I saying it's not nice, I don't but... Think I could afford that lid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't want to buy that vase, yeah. He's lying, he's not seen his mattress, have you? He's stuck with 50 quid notes. Oh, they're massive, them nights and that, aren't they? I'd have a crack at one of them, Joe, if they came up. Yeah, but I don't know what everyone like likes them for. It's just, just pottery, isn't it? Yeah, but some of these could be old. These, some of these could be... I, don't, I mean, I don't know, I'm not an expert, but I know there's more proper... Look at this now, guys. This is my childhood. War hammer. Some good old stuff here. Yeah, we don't, I don't know. Sealed as well, still sealed. Might go a little bit mad online. Let's get the bids in. You know? We like them. Them sealed ones, of course. Two Towers one. That was the main. That was the one that we did when we were younger. I love Lord of the Rings ones. And I must have had all the figures, guys. And when I say loads, I've had loads. I in there. I thought these were PlayStation, but they're not, are they? GameCube. It's a mega box. Little tiny mini discs, the GameCube ones. Yeah, my mate would tell me about them. Oh, I love it when they're all painted up, guys. Yeah, they probably is. Yeah, 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 yeah. He said they can do all right as well. Oh, yeah. These would be nice to get a bid on, even just to keep for myself. And again, guys, these cases alone can make some big money on them. Yeah, I'd like that. I love all that. Let's get it for 50 quid. <laughs> 50 quid, I wish. That's how that music that like, used to be. At like £40 for the starter set. Uh, it's always good to check, you see. Not on sprues, a lot of these could be broken, missing pieces. But yeah, absolutely love it, guys. I love Warhammer. I love old Warhammer as well. Amazing. Brings me back to my childhood. I don't know what's doing that. I feel like... Oh, I don't like putting that in there like that. Crushing them. Got your wrestling figures, Men in Black, Game of Thrones. There were absolutely loads of stuff in here, guys. You can't be an expert in everything, so I don't know what everything's worth, but there was some stuff in there that were worth quite a bit. Some of it were, were modern as well, so it is always good to check online and refer to what's selling and for how much. Because sometimes even modern stuff can be hot. But yeah, just got to be careful. But yeah, there's plenty of stuff. But yeah, this is going to be a two day like a target sale, guys. On going. I don't know room after room. Or... Toys and toys. But yeah, Wednesday and Thursday, so hopefully. I can get some stuff at a good price. And between us, I think all the viewing, I mean, all the bids in house are cheaper, and the people online have got to pay a little bit more. So we might be able to get some stuff. Obviously, at a better price because the commission will put people off. 
yeah look all still in boxes some of this is like i don't know what it's all worth but it's got to be worth a little bit and really really good stuff guys it's a nice display cabinet not big enough for putting out in like is it So this is a be an interesting auction, guys. An interesting auction. I wish I had some more money to put down. But you know, we started from the bottom and we're going up. But yeah, guys, I do hope you're enjoying this content. If you are, make sure you give it a like. Make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned till end. Because I'm going to tell you what you're going to be able to win. If you've not seen that video, there'll be two winners. And I want you to get your comments down tonight. But anyway, let's get back to what's in here. But yeah, you got dinky toys, guys. Cars, if that's your thing. If it's not your thing, you can find somewhere else. There's some really, really nice stuff. A few games in here, guys. Old gaming systems. Spider Man, Lara Croft, Midway Treasures, Fair Fighters. I can remember this. Mm. That's a good one, that I can remember that. PlayStations, Xboxes, you name it, it's in here, guys. Just ask you not. Look at this, guys. If anyone's not played this, this is the best game ever. Spartan Total Warrior. I can remember playing this. It was banging. But yeah, there's some um, good bits in here. These are Some good bits. Yeah, look at all them PlayStations. So this is going to be good auction guys a real good auction can't wait just to come and start seeing what things are going to go for it's not always about what you can get it's about enjoying day and having a look about hotel That chair though, isn't it, Sam? That one. And if not, I'm going to get that other one. Really nice furniture in. Art Deco style mirror. I do like that. I want this as well. My little one. She'd love that. It's just right size, isn't it? 
comfy as well, I bet. Yeah, I'll send down there. It's nice, that, isn't it? Little I like that blue one, me. I want like that blue one. And I want that as well for little one. Good, that, isn't it? Yeah, it'd be a little bit of money, won't it? That's a good one, I'll sit on that side. Quick little break, just making sausage and bacon sandwich. Well, we're outside the auction house. Outside, yes. Saving that money. Yeah, guys, look at that. I didn't buy it, I just bet it, didn't I? So it's definitely saving me money, guys. That's three quid, four quid save that. Three nice rashes of bacon, a nice bread cake, bit of butter. Can I go on? Well, guys, welcome back. As you've seen, there's a lot of stuff at that auction house, and I can't wait to get back. Next week looks a little bit better, looks a little bit more interesting. This week... There's a few coins that I want, like them bronze coins, if you didn't see them, that were in that big tub. There must be seven kilo there, maybe five kilo, I don't know. The good at 50p each, three for a pound, the people to pick through, and they do bring people back to the store. I used to have a lot of them. I don't know if I've said this before, but before I started doing this YouTube channel, I sold them all off on eBay. I must have got rid of about 12 kilo, and they would have been perfect for the market. I used to have people spending 15, 20 pound out of them. But anyway, yeah, I was going to, well, I've put a reserve down on them at £30. I don't really want to pay any more. If I can get them for £30, they're perfect for that. But also, they're good for looking through dates because if you've got Queen Victoria Young Eds, certain dates on them, you can be looking for the rarer dates and they can command more money, even in the lower, lower grade. With the Queen Victoria as well, you're looking for different dyes, different varieties, scarcer dates like your heat and mints and things like that you can command and they do command more money but it's knowing what you're looking for because you can have two coins that look exactly the same but the design is a little bit different and that's what people are looking for so they are good to get together in a big lot and pump them off even if i get 50p three for a pound or if i do find them better quality ones or them scarcer dates like the three over three and then we're talking some good money, guys. So I had my eyes on them. <coughs> Again, like I say, not much um, PlayStation games. I'm definitely wanting them PlayStation games. I've put a reserve down on them. So hopefully a bit higher reserve than I did last week. So hopefully I can get them. But no, even them stamps. There were a few stamps, as you've seen in there. A lot of them albums were empty. So I don't... I'll put a little bit down on them. I will get them if I can do, but... I'm not going to push Boat out. There was not too much in there, guys. Yeah, like, even thinking of it now. If I can come away with them games, come away with them coins. Like, there were some silver crowns in there. In fine to very fine condition. Not not bad grade. Pretty regular, though. But for coins of that condition, I'd be looking to sell 40 to £50. Pound. If they're going to come any higher than 20, there's nothing in it for me. There's no point after commission me selling it because then I have to knock a bit off. The little bit are ugly. It don't give me any wiggle room. So they're about a £50 coin, £45, £40 at best. So, well, £50 at best. So we'll see how we roll. If I can get them cheap and right people out of room, but there's a guy there that I know that likes his coins and he does go for his coins. He's going to be there tomorrow with his son. So if they want them, I'll let them have them because they're not the right grade for me i need them a little bit better but if they do come at right price i'll get them so like i've said them stamps whatnot there's not much but the auction next week the toy auction don't that look good there's loads of stuff in there warhammer loads of bits i'd love it if i could buy it all and get rid of it all but that's not how it is anyway guys i'll stop rambling i do hope you've enjoyed that today so get your comments down and put your thumbs up let me know what you think and let me know what you'd have bought in that auction if you'd have gone for the toys if you'd have gone for the tools whatever you'd have gone to because what i'm into you might not be into so get that down in comments and let me know right guys anyway let's get back to this competition so today is friday and i did say i'm going to release this video so the video is released now 
All I want you to do, guys, is make sure you subscribe for me. Come on, you've got to be subscribed before you enter. It's only fair. Get yourself subscribed and then just get your comment down on this video. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, whatever you want to say, just get it down. I'm going to give you a week on it. So after a week, guys, what I'll do is um, I'll do another video and it'll be announcing the draw and there'll be two winners. So let's say if 100 people enter, there's a good chance of two of you winning. Well, there's already two winners, definitely two winners. You've got more of a chance, though, because I'm letting two people win instead of one. So I'm going to pick two. So a week from now, next Friday, we'll do the announcement for the winners. So all you guys have got to do is get your comments down. And if you've not seen, I'll just show you what we've got. I've just took um, a few of these out because I've just been looking at them. So you're going to come away with four Victorian stamps. I've said, guys, they're not a million dollars. They're not worth a million dollars. But there's a nice variety here, nice colours, few different cancellations, they're half worth a couple of quid here and there, they are nice examples, just a little bit of a flavour, a little bit of a stamp history for you there, I've put them together for you, put them together, you're both going to get an old pound, which was the last circulating pound, they are exactly the same, so I'm not treating you any different, you're both going to get them, going to be two Constantine the First coins, which is the first emperor, of um, Rome, well, the first emperor, the first Christian emperor of Rome. So you've got two of them coins. They're about 1,400 year old guys. They're nice, well struck coins. They are really, really nice. This one is a little bit green, a little bit verdigree, but it has to be forgiven because of how old it is. But when you get them, I'm sure you'll still be impressed with them. They are really nice coins, guys. So do check them out. I've got them there. There's also, I'm not going to be able to hold these up, but there's three there. These are low-grade ancient coins again. You've got three of them. And then your banknotes, which are here underneath everything. Give me two seconds. Which are nice grade, really nice grade. Uncirculated, or about uncirculated. I'm going to give you one of them. Oh, why are we going over there? I don't know. I'm going to give you one of them. So you're going to get four stamps, one of these each, a Roman coin, three lower grade Roman coins, and an old English pound, which is the last pound, which you've all seen. Obviously, everyone knows what they look like. There's a little bit of history there coming back to you. These, some of you, if you are younger, you might not have seen these. Your parents will have seen these, or your grandmas, your granddads, your uncles, your older brothers. But you're going to get one of them. They're not particularly worth too much, guys. They are uncirculated. I always knock down a grade, so let's say about uncirculated. There's no folds, no crease in them, no pinholes. You won't get knocked down for that. Nice sharp corners, crisp, and the firm. They've got loads of wear to these notes. They're not floppy, as you can see. Nice colour, clean, crisp. So let's say uncirculated, but let's knock them down. About uncirculated. Depending on the bank here, it can demand more money depending if it's a first run, replacement, column sort. But these are just regular run guys. They're only worth about £8. In total, with all the goods, you've probably got a £15. £15 to £30, let's say, because you could probably get £20 a piece on them good top Roman coins, maybe 30 But let's say you've had a £25, £30 a piece off of me as a little thank you to all you guys that have subscribed for me. So all I want you to do, guys, is get your comments down in this video. Make sure you get them down, because if you don't get your comments down, I can't give you this package. There's going to be two winners, so make sure you get them comments down. And I can't wait to announce it next Friday. It's in a week, so it gives you plenty of time to get it down. I've got plenty more videos coming. I'm going to auction tomorrow, so check back, find out what I get from auction, and there will be a little bit of selling. And also, I've got to go and see my mate in Gainsborough about hitting that market up. He said he can fit me in tomorrow. Might be a little bit of a rush. I'm a bit unsure if I'm going to go there or go to auction because I need to get some stock before I even go back. So I'm going to be a, bit, a little bit busy, a little bit crazy, but there's plenty more videos to come, guys. So like I said, get your comments down for this competition. Hopefully, guys, it is you that wins, whoever's watching this. If you could all win and I could get it your, I would do, but I wouldn't have no business and have no stock left. So, yeah, hopefully, guys, get your comments down. Any questions, any comments, just hit them down below and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks for watching.